Again. Dave Rogie here with the sports blog for uh, Lake Chelan Sports Blog, and I'm with uh, Julio Juarez, the assistant coach of the boys' soccer team. And we're out here at the field where the boys just defeated Kashmir by a score of six to one in a varsity match here at the new facility. And uh, coach, tell us a little bit about how the match went. Um, well, we just wanted to come out and kind of make a statement, you know, first home game. For, I mean first league game and first home game. We kind of had a rough weekend, so we wanted to come out and really make a statement. I felt like we really did that, especially that first half. When you talk about making a statement, specifically aggressive offense, tough defense, what specifically would you be referring to in that, or, or all of it? Yeah, well, kind of both, especially we wanted to keep that shutout. They got that penalty kick at the end, but especially our offense, we wanted to come out and score some goals, kind of our goal differential is kind of negative right now, so we're trying to get that back mm -hmm. up. And, mm -hmm. you know, six goals is... That's a pretty significant win, isn't it, in yeah. a soccer game? Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed that you guys were able to keep, for the most part, a good portion, let me rephrase that, a good portion of the match that I was able to watch. You seemed to keep your guys on the end where you wanted to be offensively. Um, but it seemed like you would start to set up an attack and maybe they would defend it or something. Did they provide anything you weren't expecting? Um, not really, but it kind of was. We tried out some new um, players at new positions and yeah. kind of like, especially Levon, we moved mm -hmm. him up to the mid and from the back to the oh, mid. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. So, and he did really well there. He scored two goals actually there. First, first time Great. playing in that position and he did really well. Great. Well, Coach, what uh, now? You guys are starting league. Is this the, this is your first one? Yeah. Are you into league now? Once spring break is over, or you have uh, other things going on? And this is just one of the early matches. Yeah, this is just an early league game. We have, um, you know, our league's kind of small this year now, mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. got a lot of non-league games. We mm -hmm. go to mm -hmm. Tenasket this weekend, and then Okanagan, then Brewster, and then we get back into the league to Omak and mm -hmm. Cascade. Now. Are you next week with spring break though? You guys don't have any matches yeah, next week kinda, other than Saturday. Yeah, it's kind of different, and we actually do have a game. Oh, really? On Tuesday at Brewster. Okay. Which I think okay. is new. I don't think we've ever had a a game during spring break. Yeah. Okay. It'll be good. Well, coach, what kinds of things? When you and I met the first time, some of the things that you were talking about were tentativeness, which it sounds like you've resolved to some degree. Um, the other thing that you were talking about was finding those positions. So. Besides Levon, what other people did you make significant changes in that you feel have contributed to the success? Yeah, well, we had um, Rafa Barajas up, up top playing that forward position kind of by himself, which is a little more natural. It's what he plays with this club team. Okay. And he did a, he did a good job finishing up there. We all did. Eric, Christian. Um, Eric was actually doing a great job with his passes. He had that long pass to Levon, mm. that through ball, so... Great. Well, Coach, we want to take time. We want to say thanks for taking time out here. I know you're busy, and uh, we certainly want to make sure that the community and everyone hears about uh, what we've got going on. We did take an opportunity, and we interviewed Christian and Tanner uh, after the match, so we got a chance to talk to a couple of the kids. Christian's a little soft-spoken yet, but I'll, I'll bring it out of him before yeah. it's all over with. And uh, we're going to make an attempt every chance we get to talk to a couple of the kids just so that people know who they are. Yeah. You know, a lot of people hear about, read about, oh, Shalane won another soccer match. Uh, you know, Christian Brojas kicked a goal, but who's Christian? Well, he's a great kid who, you know, this is what he does. And and uh, so thanks for uh, bringing us up to date on the thick changes. And, and uh, as time goes on, we hope to be able to get to know them and you a little better. No, yeah, thank you, Rogi, too. You the bet. kids love it. They like all this attention on them kind of this is important well deserved yeah it is it's very well deserved they put in a tremendous amount of after hours time to do this stuff and people need to find out what kind of character they have and that they're not just afternoon with a couple of the varsity soccer players who just got finished uh, defeating Kashmir in a league match i'm assuming by the score of 6 to 1 congratulations guys on my left, I've got Tanner Johnson. He's a senior. And on my right, I have Christian. And Christian, I forgot your last name. Barajas. Barajas. That's right. Thank you. And uh, Christian, since Tanner's talked before, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about the game, about your position, and uh, how do you feel things went? I thought that the game went well. Um, 
first couple of minutes, chemistry was working well. Uh, team was communicating well. And then uh, Tanner was an excellent job back to defense. More communication. We fixed the things that had fixed. This is your third year on the soccer team, isn't it? Yeah. You guys last year, you went quite a ways into postseason, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. And a couple of years ago, you guys actually won the championship. Were you part of that team too? Yeah. Okay. So this is primarily your focus, isn't it, soccer, when you're here at school and, and the sport that you play? Well, congratulations on a big win. I'm sure we'll get a chance to talk to you later on as the season progresses. And uh, good luck to you the rest of the ways. Tanner? Seeing your member of the team, um, just give us a general feeling about how you think the game went and, and a little bit about what you're doing out there and your kind of your role and, and um, you know, just talk to us a little bit about the match. Uh, I felt like we came out from after that one week loss against Connell, I felt like we were built up with a lot of anger and we knew we could play better, so we came out this game and right away we got up at halftime, we had five goals and I felt like our offense up forward was doing a lot better and then especially with our defense we stepped it up and with my role on the team I feel like I just got to hold my own and show the aggressive side and just... And you're do. more of a defender, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So that once they get past that half field or half court line, if you will, then that becomes your responsibility primarily, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, can you shoot and score from where you are, or do you you have to stay back? Um, there's times when I could tell the midfielder on my right side if I want him to stay back, if I'm feeling a run, I can mm -hmm. go up and try and score. But most times I stay back. Mm -hmm. so, and now, are you? How many of the senior? How many seniors do you guys have on your team? Do you even know? So there's several anyway. Like maybe more than seven. Yeah. So and you're one of those senior leaders. So. When the team feels the need for a little nudge, do you guys kind of, as seniors, kind of say, come on, guys, let's go, we know we can do better than this? What? How How do you play that role? Um, I don't really play that role. We have uh, team leaders, and okay. one of them is Christian, and then Jose Valencia and LeVon Barajas, and then they're the ones that get us together. and that's Really kind of iron things out when there's issues, huh? Yeah. So, Christian, tell me a little bit then, uh, since you're one of those people, what kind of things do you guys try to look for when you feel it's time to step up and get guys together? Um, motivation, uh, you know, uh, they make a mistake, pick up, pick up each other, uh, keep your head down, and just try to keep them built up. Don't yeah. let them get down. Once you start getting behind and getting on yourself, it's pretty hard to play, yeah. isn't it? And I always try to show a positive face for my teammates. They look up to, our, to us, we're captains, and. You know, Great. Well, guys, you know, congratulations on a big win here in, in the uh, Trail CTL. And I'm sure that uh, there will be many more opportunities for us to chat with you as the season goes on. Good luck to you, uh, Tanner. And uh, Christian, good luck to you. And uh, good work on uh, congratulations on your cap role as a captain. This is Dave Rogie here with Christian Barajas and uh, Tanner Johnson with the uh, <laughs> soccer team here at the soccer field for the Lakeshore Sports Blog. Thanks, guys.